Hey, Olivia, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Fine? What do you mean you're fine, Olivia? You're not fine. Less than fine. You're exhausted, overwhelmed. You have reached your breaking point and you are about to explode. You need help. What's the problem? I mean, ever since I got to this school, I haven't even felt like myself. Like, how am I already failing English? Whoa, but you love English. Did you turn everything in? I tried to, but it's so hard to balance classes and social life. I don't have very many friends here, so when they do ask me to hang out, I feel like I can't say no. I mean, if I... If you did, then what? You would have passed your exam? All you needed to do was tell your friends that you needed to study? I tried to. Well, then those aren't your friends. But you don't understand, Dylan. Hanging out with them is the only time that I feel like I can give myself a break. It's the only time I feel happy and I can let go of all the stress. <laughs> Trust me, I know a thing or two about temporary happiness. And I'm here to tell you that's not true happiness. Even the people who care most about you can't be at your beck and call 24-7 because it's nothing personal, but they just have problems and worries too. Who can I depend on? Yourself. Yeah, it wasn't worth it. They didn't really care about me. You know what though? I care about you. And I'm saying this because I love you, Liv. Success is the best revenge. What are your passions? What are your goals? What are the steps you need to take to achieve those goals? I want to see you become so engulfed in your own success that you reach your true state of happiness. I want you to make yourself proud before you worry about making someone else proud. So what's next, Liv? Will it be? What are you going to do?